Hi there, Joe DeSanto here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the distinction between Quicken Bill Pay, which is like a, a bill payment feature they offer in some cases at an extra cost, and the bill pay module in the Quicken software. These are two distinct things, but they can work in concert, so it can be confusing because Quicken sort of melds them a little bit together and um, <clears throat> you're not always sure what you're actually looking at or reading when you're entering stuff. Now, I did this video in Quicken for Mac, because uh, I happen to be making Mac videos, but the content here also applies to Quicken Windows just in general, because it's about uh, more about the distinction between their paid bill pay service and the bill pay module, which exists in both versions of the software. Okay, thanks so much, bye. I'm Joe DeSanto, by the way. I'm an independent CFO and business consultant. I actually spent most of my career in Los Angeles building a few multi-million dollar businesses, and I've since semi-retired, and now I help other uh, businesses and individuals manage their money and plan better for their future. So if you're interested in small business, personal finance, and real estate advice, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Uh, all right, so bill pay, if, this is Quicken Mac, uh, but it's a similar story for Quicken for Windows. But bill pay here, you're going to see up here this option uh, in the menu, and it's going to say pay with quick pay, pay with check, manage payment accounts, learn about bill pay. And then over here in this option, you can see an area called bills and income. And these are two kind of distinct things that can work together. But first, let me clarify bill pay in general. So Quicken does offer a service that works, you know, in conjunction or on top of your Quicken software called Quicken Bill Pay. And it's just like your bank's bill pay where you can have your bank either make payments electronically to vendors, you know, that will accept electronic payments. And a lot of times your cable bill can be paid that way, your credit card, you know, and it's like a one or two day ACH payment. And if you have a vendor or someone random or a family or friend that obviously wouldn't connect to Quicken bill pay for a electronic payment, Quicken will just send them a check. It works exactly like most banks bill pays. Like I am Bank of America, and it's the same thing. They have a bill pay service on the website and either they'll, I can pay my bills or send money to people and either they do an electronic payment or they do a check. Now, in the last few years, most banks have added on some kind of additional digital payment service. Most major banks are using Zelle and Zelle made it so that I can, in fact, send an electronic payment to my mother, you know what I mean, uh, as opposed to, like, having to send her a check. Previously, I could only really send electronic payments to big retailers or, like I said, my credit cards and so on. But using Zelle, I can easily send money to my mother. Obviously, Venmo does that as well. Cash App does that. But, you know, in, with Bank of America, Zelle is the way you do that. Now, with Quicken's bill pay, I don't think they have anything like that built into it yet. But if you didn't have bill pay at your bank or you wanted something that was integrated into Quicken, you could pay for Quicken's bill pay service to do these things. And I think, I don't know how much it is now, I think it's like 10 bucks a month and you get so many payments. But what you can do in that case is queue up payments right within the software not have to log into like Quicken's website or your bank's website and you can you know queue up payments right in here and they'll go out either electronically or via check just depending on if that vendor is connected with Quicken for electronic payments or not. Actually I decided to look into the pricing just to be sure and it looks like they've changed it. Uh, I went over the Quicken website and honestly it was it was hard to find but if you go over here to compare plans under pricing and you come down here, there is this uh, little comparison chart with Quicken Simplify. And I noticed here down on, let's see, met, track and pay bills. Download bills is, is included uh, in both, but pay bills from Quicken is actually included in the premier version, okay? 
But I noticed if you go like this to the deluxe version, now a little dollar sign pops up. That dollar sign says add on starting at $9.95 a month. So they're now including their bill pay service with the uh, premier versions and up. I can also say that they include it in the home and business. That's the more expensive. And I have that and I've kind of figured that out. So FYI on the pricing. Back to the video here. So that is a paid additional service Quicken offers. Now, if your bank offers it, and most major banks do, would you want to pay extra for Quicken and do essentially what your bank can do? I don't. I just use my Bank of America bill pay because also it has Zelle and I do use that. And I don't have to pay extra for that. Now, additional layer of confusion. For a long time, if your bank participated in what Quicken calls the direct connect system, as opposed to the other more limited connection system of Express Connect, uh, you actually could have Quicken interface with your bank's bill pay service, initiate payments in Quicken, and they would go to your bank and your bank would send them out. So for a long time, only for banks that offered the direct connect connection system you could do that. You could essentially get the functionality of the, the true quick and bill pay while using your free bank services. In recent times, a lot of banks, including Bank of America, have discontinued allowing Quicken to initiate payments, even while they still maintained the direct connect connection. Some banks, though, did not discontinue the ability to do this. They maintained direct connect connections, and they did not stop allowing you to connect with Quicken and initiate bill payments. But to further complicate it, in more recent years, or in the recent, like, last year, Quicken is starting to change its connection from direct connect or express connect to basically an API-style connection, where... It doesn't have to remember, you know, previously with Express Connect and Direct Connect, it was almost like Quicken would go log into your online banking just like you did on the front end. It would go use your user and password every time. It would save your user and password in the software, and it would use it every time. Now it's trying to switch over to an API connection where you log into your bank once, you allow your bank to have access to Quicken, or you allow Quicken to have access to your bank's API on the back end. And once you do that, it can go in there and get data without having to log in using your user and password and subsequently store your user and password in the system. With that, you are essentially removing the direct connection method and also removing the ability for Quicken to utilize your bank's online banking bill pay. Uh, most of the major banks, Bank of America, like Chase, Citi, they're using this new API style connection and the, um, the bill pay with your bank's services is pretty much gone. There are some other smaller banks that are stu still utilizing Direct Connect and will allow you to utilize their bill pay and initiate stuff in Quicken. But I think you know that's kind of on the way out. So if you really like to initiate bill payments and so on in Quicken, you would eventually probably have to start paying for their service and you know it would it would work just like your banks would. I mean most banks have for bill pay, even the credit unions and everything, so I don't know how many people pay the extra ten bucks a month to use Quicken's version, but they've had it for a long time and they still have it, so some people must be paying for it. Now I have this up because I wanted to make the distinction that just because you don't use Quicken's bill pay service like this guy here quick pay check pay and whatever you would still use their bills and income area to do certain things you know like i have both regular monthly bills that go out specifically mortgages my credit card payments like big things big amounts of money that i have set up as memorized bills and uh, i i have them automatically enter into the register every month like 10 days in advance now because i don't use quicken's bill pay service nor does it interact with bank of america anymore for that purpose 
my automatic entries here, all they do is put the transaction in the register 10 days in advance, but it doesn't trigger a payment. But the truth is all my mortgages and all my credit cards are on auto pay from the bank's website, which is actually better, more secure, like more foolproof. And if it were to ever fail, you could use it as the excuse to have them remove any late payments. I mean, it's never failed. Whereas if you were paying them out of quick and you wouldn't be able to use it as an excuse. So I say you don't even, you know, I don't even, use, I stopped using the bill pay connection with Bank of America a long time ago, even before they discontinued it. Cause I just think it's, it's all, I only use it for mortgages, credit cards, and some major things. But I wanted to go into the register in advance because I want to see my forward looking balance um, for cash flow purposes, you know, and I want to make sure I'm always going to have enough money in the checking account to cover my mortgage and my, my credit card uh, payments because those are larger payments, you know. So, but to confuse things a little bit, I'm going to, I'm going to show you here that I'm going to put in like an, an example automated bill payment, but Quicken gives you some options that are somewhat interconnected with their bill pay, so it is confusing. Um, now, here there is bills. Uh, it says, do you want to add an e-bill or a manual bill? Now, in my case, because I'm not using their bill pay, nor am I using any kind of interconnection with the bank, I'm just going to add it as a manual bill. And I'm going to put in you know, my test bill here. Excuse me, you put the category, whatever you want that to be, whatever account you want it to come out of, you know, whatever the amount's going to be. I don't do this for like utilities and stuff because utilities, the amount changes every month and it's usually small. And so I'm not too worried about it just coming out of my checking account automatically. With credit cards, the amount changes every month, but it's usually big. So what I do with my credit cards is I have this be zero but I have it pop up an alert like, hey, your credit card payment's gone up. And then I kind of do a additional manual step with the, um, with the correct amount. But in any case, uh, so that can probably video in and of itself. But uh, put it in the amount. And then here it says the payment method. And it's like it gives the quick pay, check pay, and print check. And these options are related to the Quicken bill pay. So it, sees, it says payment method. I pay the biller directly, meaning, you know, I'm not using any service. I'm just entering it in the register. Then I go pay it on their website. Um, and the other option is or pay bills via Quicken, which is utilizing their paid service. And they have the quick pay, the check pay, and the print check. Um, so in my case, I'm going to check this. Now, the edit before paying, what that means is if... Uh, I believe what that means is if you go to if it if you go to manually kind of trigger it like from this bill pay window, it'll bring up a dialog box for you to edit the amount. You can also edit the amount after the fact in the register, but I think for if I was doing a credit card thing, kind of reminder, I would have that checked. Continue here. Do you can do you know a reminder? And then over here it says, want to make payments to this pay? Get rid of envelopes and stamps with check pay. Effortly send a check. This is them offering you to sign up for their monthly bill pay service. So I'm going to skip and close that. Um, then over here, this is where you can delete bills you put in or you can edit the instance or edit the whole series. You can edit you know, various things about it. And then when you mark it as paid, what that's going to do is put it in your registers. Anyway, I'll probably do a little bit, a, another video that's a little bit more full on this bills and incomes and pays and automating things, but I wanted to really mostly focus on the distinction between manually using the bills and income section and not being confused by the bill pay and Quicken's monthly service because it sort of, you know, naturally tries to integrate them for obvious reasons of maybe getting you to engage and purchase the service. Okay, one thing I uh, realized I didn't really point out or show was when I made the bills was that you can make it so they enter automatically in advance. I've talked a lot about that. Um, if you 
when you're going through the setup process, you'll see where you can do this, but you can also come over here and go edit all instances, which will bring up that similar dialog box. And in Mac, they don't call it enter automatically. Under mark as paid here, they have something automatically, meaning, and I believe that means it'll go in on the date that you have it set, or you can have it go in before scheduled date. And, you know, for like my mortgage, for example, I choose 10 days. And so now that's auto enter, okay? Um, so I wanted to add that addendum uh, and make sure you were aware of it. Okay, thanks.